Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tech It series. I love gold, and a big shout out to all you meatheads out there. You guys know what's up. I'm hoping that all you guys who watch the Tech It series are meatheads as well. I know most of you are. Some of you guys are special guests that stop by to, to check it out, I would imagine. Brr, 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 brr. Normally this is a two-player playthrough. Currently I'm, I'm having to record a couple solo ones, but... Uh, Fear not, we will be back with the two players before too long. But last episode, if you guys missed it, I built this machine here, which is a um, rotary macerator that I am macerating blaze rods into blaze powder, pulling the blaze powders out with this filter, pneumatic tubing back up to an energy condenser, which I'm using it to mass produce blaze rods and at the same time this filter will grab blaze rods back down to keep reproducing it just keeps growing and growing and growing well in this episode oh and i'm using a generator a very simple coal driven generator to power this currently uh what it said in the wiki is you could overclock this thing like I don't know, 8, 16 times if you got the right power supply, and this thing will just be going to town. Right now, I, I think it's doing <laughs> I think it's doing pretty good right now. Look at this. You know, it's not necessarily able to pull the stuff out fast enough, but I'm building up a fair amount of these. So what I want to do is I want to convert these blaze rods into diamonds. So we need to add, I believe, let's, we're going to add a filter. Uh, that other filter that I made right here. Let's add a filter right there. We need to turn that guy. And it's... I believe it would be like that. If it, if it matches this, the solid part is like it's pulling it down through this way and it's pulling it out. So we want to pull out of that condenser. And we want to go into another condenser, right? Right here. Another energy condenser. All right, give me that marble piece out of there. All right, so we got another energy condenser right there. Nice. Got to eat. Hey, you know, you got to eat. You got to have some steak sandwiches every once in a while. You guys know that. You guys know I like steak sandwiches. All right, now. Um, 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 um I need I need to put the timer. The timer. I need the timer. All right, let's let's go up up let's put the timer right in here because we want to we want to get this thing powered um i would imagine that works there go down to a second yeah that's working there all right whoa no 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 i don't want to do that i don't want to do that yet whoa 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 what did i do i want um i want a stack of 64 of these I also want 64. Put that in there, right? All right, it's pulling those all into here. But what we need to do is we need to make we need to make what we're going to be reproducing, which is diamonds. And why not screw regular diamonds? Let's reproduce diamond blocks, right? We are going big. We're not messing around. We are not messing around, people. All right, so I've used up a fair amount of diamonds in this build, but I am going to do this. Look at this. Watch what happens. Hello? Hello, diamond block? Oh, my gosh. We'll let that thing cook for a second. All right, just do this. What I want is... How am I supposed to get... You know what, if I take, I want to put blaze, give me, I want 32 of these things. I think I need to put 64 uh, blaze powders in there as well. So there's 64 right there. All right. So we all, we'll put 64 blaze rods in this filter and we'll put 64 blaze powders in here as well. Look, oh my God. 19 gold blocks already dude do you see what i'm talking about with this machine here take those i don't need them take that now this thing is going to keep it's going to keep going right oh make sure we got coal let's top this bad boy off right there 
that little machine right there is is mass producing blaze rods from from like a single blaze rod into blaze powders back around through the filters through the rotary macerator with just two overclocks two overclocks and the generator through another filter here right there what do you what do you think what do you think about that i think that's why you know what i don't understand is what i don't really know how these rotary macerators work so i'm going to yank that out actually you know what i'll do yank that what give me half this stuff put that in there see this is coming in so fast I'm try and get it to where it catches up let's put this stuff up in here that should convert over to even more beasting 25 diamond blocks what f within a couple of minutes oh, this thing was only running for the last part of the first of the last episode and just a couple of minutes as we came in here i mean look at this thing is that not the coolest thing Could just very small and compact it's just gonna sit here and run off this coal i i don't know man i saw this thing i said i've got to try and make that because that seems like the coolest thing i've ever seen now i'm sure i'm probably doing something wrong but the result is this this is all i care about uh, blout this is all i care about right now is diamonds now i'm gonna go show you my little test runs that i did i actually built a version of that but i built an um a small is it oh it's dude seriously i want to come out there i built a smaller version of it all right not a smaller but a uglier version of it who uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh oh no 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 dude don't that blow up get dude seriously sun's coming up sun's coming up oh my gosh i gotta finish the sides of these things uh -huh. I'll show you my secret little test lab. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Dude, seriously, get out of here! I'm gonna show you my secret test lab. Don't tell Bentley it's down here. It's a secret. This is where I test out things to see if I'm I'm a total noob or not. Oh, nice view. Except that's actually supposed to be a jungle there. Oh, all right. Look at the view from my house of the LLC building. I haven't been in my house forever. Here's my bed. Look at this. Isn't that awesome view? There's Bentley's house over there. My house here, we each have a, a view of the LLC building. I got a view of the, of the power station though. But I can see the fountain, so that's nice. All right, let me show you my little, uh, don't be looking at my computer, there's secret stuff on there too. Alright, so look, I made a secret passage here. Down we go, friends. Down we go. Here it is. So this was the first version of that machine right here. And I do have some... Do I have, I have some redstone torches. So look at this. This is... And for some reason, I, I screwed up here. This distribution pipe... See yellow, so I want red, red and blue. See, I want more going in there. Oh, I guess I should do anything I'm not using to zero. All right, look at this. This is what the machine did while I was working on it, like trying to get it working. So let's let's do this. Let's try this machine out. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this in here. Right, get that thing cooking up. We need to pump that machine. I'm gonna need some more torches. We're gonna need down here, cause this not only powers that machine, it powers this gold pipe, which slingshots the stuff around, right? I need um, some wood here. Where's my wood at? Right. Or do I have sticks in here already? Man, I, I can't see anything in here. Get over there. Way too much stuff in here. Um, where's my Philosopher's Stone? Alright. Let's go in here and let's make us some torches. Alright, we got that going. 
put this guy here. That should take care of those two engines. And we'll put one right here to take care of that engine. Now you can see, here goes the blaze powder shooting around out of the gold pipe, right? And up into this energy condenser here. Energy condenser, blaze rods, blaze powders come in. And then it also sucks out of there and goes into this rotary macerator. You can see it's coming in. Don't have any overclocks on it. Simple. But this doesn't... I could add now something to the side of it, the uh, like, um, I guess the filter, like this is a non-upgraded version of it, and convert this stuff to, to diamond block as well. Or you can manually come in here, take this stuff out, and, and do it yourself. Which, but this machine, pretty simple, shoots it around, whoop, right up into there. Whoa, a little, little graphical glitch right there, but shoots up into the energy condenser. All right, then we've got the pump pulling it out the side, the blaze rods. I put a distribution pipe here because it seems to get some overflow. So it's like 10 to three ratio, 10 go in there, three come back around and go back into the energy condenser. Got four engines trying to pull these things out because it tends to get backed up on the powder. Like these will max out 64 and 64 and that's what you get. So. I've got this machine running in here just punching out the blaze rods. This literally started with one blaze rod. Like one. Just going to town. And this is what happened. I This has been, I would say an hour? An hour long right here to get, to get uh, about this much. Maybe a little bit more. This machine is not the fastest and it's not the most efficient because it's you still got some manual stuff that you got to do like the torches and stuff. But this this is like the least uh, expensive of the machines to build. But you see how e cost effective the other one is like you may spend a lot of your stuff, your diamonds and everything and whatever else to make that stuff. But right away you're you're dealing in the EMC. You are like a you're like an EMC dealer on the street. Give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff, people. So this is my test lab. So basically this machine is, um, I mean, it's done. I don't need it anymore now that I have that other one. I'm going to yank this back out of here. Let that drain down. Um, I'm going to break these off too. Oh, I can't get in there. Hello. Just stop these from working up here. Pretty cool, though, I think. I mean, I, I just, I, it's just incredible what you can actually make with this stuff. You know, it's it's really crazy. So let's get back out of the test lab. Test lab. That's where I will be testing stuff. And if I fail, I'll definitely show you guys like, hey, this thing was supposed to be really easy to make and I couldn't even make it. Let's go to the test lab and show you how bad I failed. <laughs> test lab. You know, as the CEO of the I Like Gold LLC, I've got I've to gotta try and come up with some things. Super secret. You don't want like your secrets getting out. It's like... Somebody, some military experiments, you don't want, they get a hold of it, they build their own factory and it outdoes yours and you gotta, you gotta keep control of that stuff. Let's see what our, if our thing's still working down here. Thing's still going to town. Alright, so we're maxed out there. We're doing good there. What do we got for these? 42. 42! I'll keep this bad boy going. Take some, take some coal, please. Can you get in there? Why isn't it going... Oh, that's charcoal. What? Did I throw charcoal in here instead of coal? Huh. I didn't look at it when I pulled it out of my bag. It must have been charcoal. What's this? Here's coal. What is, I guess I'll let that, I'll let that burn out. <laughs> charcoal, I think I made early on for torches, and I still, I still had it in my inventory from, like, the very, very first or second episode. So... Got to make some more timers. Now, the other thing about this, because now you're building so much EMC, I'm sure there's even better machines than this, but why not just make two or three or four of these in, in an in a area and just build yourself up a bunch of stuff? Now what I have to do is I have to figure out what to do with with the diamonds. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of block blocks of diamonds that could fill up in here. What do I do with them? That's what I'll, That's what I'll figure out next. Because I know there's a lot of things like uh, antimatter, antimatter relays, dark matter, all this stuff that requires an obscene, an obscene amount of EMC. But you can see with this little thing, 
I'm I'm on my way, right? I'm on my way to some, you know, block of diamond, 73,728 EMC, and I'm at 46 of them. That thing's going to keep going. This, this is self-sustaining, especially once I get this power source, you know, up to... Um, up to the nuke plant or maybe even piped into the solar now we have it you know we have it right here we have it coming in right here which these are high voltage medium voltage low voltage so these are all low voltage stuff i think those are dude don't close the door on me these should be like the 32 stuff do they say do these don't say what they are i guess if they don't say they're they're 32 powered I know I've blown some of these things up, but... Hey, you know what else I want to try while you guys are here? I made up this other thing. Um, where is it? It was like a little Xbox controller. Oh, here it is. Wireless remote. Wireless remote. Now, apparently... I'm so... Oh, that's not... How do I do this? Uh, shift, shift, right click. There we go. So I'm supposed to be able to, um, like, set this thing off. Oh. It does it te temporarily. Um, let me do this again. It's, it's shift, right click. All right, so that's good. Now, oops. What do you do? Oh, you... If you hold right click, right, it'll send. Why is that still on? It'll, it'll send a frequency to whichever one you want, right? So I could mess with Bentley with this thing. I don't have to be right next to it and put a lever on. We could be working. I'll whip this thing out. I'll set off the alarm and be like, yeah, so we're doing this, and all of a sudden, dude, the nuke plant's going off. How cool is that? I love that thing. It looks like a little controller, like almost like an Xbox or something. But I got that thing made. Real simple to make. It's just like all this stuff. The wireless transmitters, the sequencers, all this stuff. Really easy to make. Not not super intensive on, on your resources as well. I need to get this thing cleaned out. I mean, I need to clean this thing for sure. But it's getting a little crazy. Let's just double check here before we go. What we got... Um, I was gonna say I'll cover that up, but I, I need I need access. Fifty three. The only thing that I don't know, and I'll I'll find out. I'll try and figure it out. Is you see how these are stacked in here? I guess. Oh, you know what? It's because it's not going fast enough, right? It's not macerating fast enough. That's the thing. I was wondering why why is it doing that, but. Because I'm saying, wow, it's going fast, but it's supplying blaze rods faster than it's macerating them. Hence, the o more overclockers. But in order order to do that, I'll I'll need more um, I'll need more of the uh, what you call it power. The power. I wonder if he's got any overclockers sitting around anywhere. If he does, I will steal one or two to put in there to see like just how much we can actually clock. I wouldn't I wouldn't imagine that you can do much more than um than the two. I don't think we have any laying around. Is there any in these machines? Oh, here's four right here. Let me just borrow two real quick. What was that green? Refined uranium. Nice. <laughs> it look like slime. <laughs> you got slime. All right, so we want to try and put two more of these in. See this? See the power? Look at it. Gone. Take those out. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to take them all out. Let the power build back up. That's that's the thing right there is the more the faster you want these things to go from here to here is the overclockers which speeds this up. But the more overclockers you put in, the more power it takes, the speed here and you can see two was fine; it was maintaining, but three, bam, or four, instantly drained that thing. I guess we could try three. Let me get this thing back up to full. And again, we're just running off that that simple coal generator over there. All right, so let's see where we're at on this. Still got nine. We're running off charcoal. Okay, so two overclockers. Let's try three. 
See what that does. If it keeps draining, yeah, see, that's not enough. Not enough. Get that out of there. Not enough power. So somewhere in between two and three, this thing is. But if imagine getting like stacks, four, 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 four. Get 16 overclocks in here. But you need, I would imagine, you're going to need some serious, serious uh, EU voltage supply to this thing. Where did I take these from right here? I like them looking like this. I know you can stack them, but I think it looks cool like that. Overclocked. Overclocked. All right, guys. Well, that was... Uh, just two episodes. I wanted to. I saw this machine. I got excited to see if I could make it work and if it worked like they claimed. And it does. I mean, you saw the other one over there. How many how many blaze rods I had built up in there? I can bring them over here and throw them in this machine and get you know get this thing going. Actually, you know what? Before we go, before we go, let's do that. How much room do I have in here? Um, let me put some of this stuff. This is ten. Um, I keep that stuff. My refined iron, I'm going to put in my bag because I need to have that on me. Um, I'll put this back in here. Put this stuff in here and I will keep, I'm going to keep a stack of 64 of this because when that runs out, I'm going to throw the coal in there. We'll put the marble away. Uh, we can put the torches away. Oh, I had torches. Why did I make them? Deer! Put my philosopher's stone. Let's just go grab some of this stuff. Is it dark? Of course it is. Get. Get. Go. No mobs, please. I'm trying to do something right now. Don't feel like fighting the creepers. Let's go get as many blaze rods as we can carry. Oh, dude. Not right by my thing. Seriously? All right. Now I'm mad. Hmm. Whoa, I'm doing the wub wub. Wub 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 wub. Is he following me? Dude, oh my gosh. Dude, get me in my house. Get away. You stupid mobs. They're going to be waiting for me when I come back up, aren't they? Alright, let's go. Let's go do this. Alright, give me as many as I can carry. We're going to throw all these in that energy condenser that is duping diamonds why can't it not go right there oh i had to manually do that all right i see how it is close the door all right these guys are going to be waiting for us out here for show for show right, let me get a little something to eat if i got blown up with all this stuff on me i'd be pissed you see anybody out there did they disperse Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Look at all these dudes. Seriously? Oh, that guy sizzled. Oh, zigzag! Serpentine! Serpentine! Just no creepers. No creepers. I don't care about the other guys. They're not... I don't want any creepers to blow up like our little pathway. We're starting to make the area look nice. You know, it's going to be a combination of building and, and making these machines up. Alright, so let's just go ahead and put these straight in here, right? We're going to put these straight in here. See, see what we can end up with. And this is like, this is legit. You know, this isn't, that's what's cool about this is it's not about like um, spawning items. You, you're watching, you're watching the machine create, why isn't this stacking to here? You're watching the machine create blocks of diamond. I mean, look at that, look at the EMC value at the top, just brrrr, brrrr. What is it? Is it one stack of 64? No, it actually bla blazes across there a couple of times. It's one, wait, one half. No, it is. It's it's just about one. It looks like. It's close. It's hard to see. One stack of sixty four um, fills up one full rod in a little bit. So, I mean, we're just kind of checking this thing out. Look at all the. This is blocks of diamond, not just diamond. Bentley's going to come back in here and go, dude, you cheated. You must have cheated. They said, no, come check out the machine. Look, it's still doing its job. I'm going to route the power. We'll route the power to this thing, juice this thing up, overclock it some more. I mean, we're going to be beasting for days. I want to fill this whole thing up with blocks of diamond. That's what I want to do. So you guys witness this firsthand. 
Last episode, building the machine. This episode added blazes across there, blocks of diamond for it to basically energy condense and create blocks of diamond out of blaze rods. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will hopefully get, like I said, enough episodes while I'm gone that I'll have one up uh, every day for you. You know, hopefully. I'm working on it. I'm working on it for you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, though. I, I, you know, I try to remember to let you guys know that uh, I appreciate you guys all hanging out, being meatheads, you know, doing the thing. And, you know, leave some comments for me. Rate the video if you like. If not, I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Later.